off. He was saying, man, if, if uh, BG was saying if they be thinking Alabama just a whole little hick town on it. Right. But we're in the city, man. We're in the city. And, what city? Hey, B to the I to the R to the M to the I to the N to the G to the H to the A to the M. It's too many letters to try to do like <laughs> I think we almost got Mississippi. We got Mississippi. <laughs> we close. <laughs> man, it's way too many letters. We'll oh, be man. doing it like that, man. Hey, man, you got to stop by and holler at your boys, man. Welcome to another episode of Live, Lit, and Legit. Your boy, Two Cups, Shawty Q Smith, and always that boy. Always it's your boy, B. You dig yes, it. Can't forget about sir. that girl. Who? B. B. G. What's up, hey. man? What's hey, up, y'all. man? Hey, man. How you been? Feeling good? I'm good. I'm good. How y'all doing? All right, man. Take a plane. Bless about the best you did. I'm finna start that thing out with just some entertainment. Bro, it went down in the 80s weekend. What happened in the 80s man, weekend? Man, all kind of premieres. I'm talking about all kind of premieres mm. now. If y'all been watching the show, y'all know a few weeks back, man, I covered the BMF story and let y'all know that it was a series about to come out. However, okay. it is. So this is one of the events that took place in Atlanta this weekend. BMF, man, 50 Cent. Uh, the new series, BMF, that's going to be on Stars. It's coming out this Sunday, actually. Um, and of course, it's about the black mafia family. Demetrius himself, Big Meech, you know what I'm saying? And his brother, man. They got Now they got his Big Meech son starring in it, Demetrius Jr. Mm. Uh, a lot of big acts, man. Got Eminem, um, Lala Anthony, list goes on. Snoop Dogg. Yeah, man. It's going to air it every Sunday on Stars, man. They ain't get Rick to Ross it. in there? Rick Ross? Yeah. Yeah. I'm saying they ain't get him in there. Because, oh, you know, a little friction. But he said he think he big Meech. Larry Hoover. But didn't fit, work. Larry. Well, Hallelujah. Hey, but you know, uh, 50 said, uh, <laughs> you might be big Meech in your raps, but you're not finna be, you know, them boys ain't never. <laughs> 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 them boys ain't never see eye to eye, man. Don't do Ross. Nah, but no, nah, I'm some Ross, the boss. I miss my boy Ross, man. But this big. This big, That's man. Really big, yeah. man. This big. Man. I actually, I love true crime stuff like this, man. Yeah. I do. Uh, American Gangster. Y'all remember American yeah. Gangster on BET? Yeah. I watched every episode probably twice because I love true crime stuff like that. I like gangster stuff mm-hmm. and drug dealing mm-hmm. stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, that's that's my niche. Uh, Is it something that you want to tell us? <laughs> nothing at all. I am a good okay. Christian young man. Mm-hmm. I love okay. the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah! <Yeah. laughs> but now, nah, those, those are really those are really good plot twist kind of shows that I love the crime. Yeah. But I thought and about very this. Very interesting. This I would love to see this happen. I was thinking about this before I was reading the notes and getting ready to cover the story. I'm glad it came out as a series instead of a movie. They can go deeper. They can go deeper, and I'm hoping they can go uh, so deep to where Meech can get released and be on, like, the season. Maybe okay. season 12, 15, who knows? Okay. Maybe two. You pump, know? Pump your horses, That'll young be man. hard. Pump your horses. I don't think Meech getting out there no time soon. Well, two cup believe in manifestation, so I like, the man- right. I like to manifest. You think, you think all of a sudden because of Judge C, <laughs> hmm, they got a series out on Meech. I'm going to sign these release papers. You feel me? That's Meech. not happening, bro. He might be at home. Free me. See, hold on. Pump the brakes. I'm tired of black folks, man. What? Black folks, we be pumping up. They be like, man, free little nook nook, man. What he did? They say he shot two people. Well, who's man, nut nut need to be in jail? Well, how, who's to say who's, who's to say little nut nut ain't gonna shoot first? It's two sides of their story, my boy. See, it's two sides of their story. <laughs> See what I'm saying? That's why I love my black people. You feel me? Stand for us. You feel me? They all, always be, be on, on social media. Free, free, uh, Keep free, so and so, so and so. Well, what'd he do, man? They, they, man, he ain't do nothing but rob a bank. Hey, well, I, I would, I would agree with that because, uh, you don't hear the white folks saying free sisters when they shot up the school, so you know, I guess you got a point. <laughs> Were you, you know trying what? to make a point Don't with that? Counseled. I mean, I guess you got a point. You were trying to make a point. I, that was a good point, though. Was <laughs> you, you, you know, you specifically <laughs> you wanted to make a point. No, I was trying to make like that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> he tried to make a no, point. They never say. They never say free. Nobody. Right. You do this. Even with their own people, you gon' you do the crime. You, you do gonna the do time. the time. They, they gonna but, lock but you see, up. This is the thing. This is the thing. This is the niche in their nature. You know, if you get caught, we're gonna disown you. They all do it. <laughs> They just did that thing about them, they disown you. No, because they, they will make excuses. They make plenty of excuses for him. Like, uh, what's his name? Dylan Rue? He was just a misunderstood child. He was a loner. He didn't have any friends. So they're going to make excuses for oh, him. Oh, yeah, yeah. But but I guess it depends on the type of crime where they disown you. Like, well, you know I mean, Dylan Rue shot nine black people in a church. In yeah, a well, church. that's different than, you know, 
messing up the family business, like money laundering, just doing something. You know oh, they ain't gonna disown you for that. Who talking about the, the folks? Yeah, talking about. Oh, I I, I know a lot of them. Yes, they will. They why you think why you think uh, parents be the, the white folk be killing their mom and daddy? It's a lot go on in in that stuff. Some it's a lot go on in them households, my boy. They're rough death. It's a lot go on in them households. Yeah, yeah, man. Pr- at BG, they, B- they they have no structure. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm telling you, man. Them folk, why? Them folk is crazy. They're too free. That's what it is. That's exactly what it is. We we get popped in the mouth, open the door. That's it. That's that. No secrets here. At all. Man. Our parents. I don't know you're building a bomb. <laughs> right. No. Hey, black, black parents will take the door off the hinges and be off like, you hinges. can't lock no more doors in my house. I was going to say, open that door. And over. no secrets. Our parents had eyes in the back of their head. Well, On they everything. On they everything. They already knew what you were doing before you even did it. So. Ooh, ooh. I you ooh, ooh, ooh. Go on and tell on yourself. Ooh, you <laughs> I'm not. One day. <laughs> one day. One day. One day. One day. I'm going to say it on the podcast. And hopefully one day we will see this. Now, I cover the store as well, man. It's back. Now, T.I. joined the BMF premiere. Okay, cool. And he had this to say. What's up, 50? What's up with the verses? Cub pulled up to the premiere to bless the event. However, called Cubs out face-to-face. Like, you and my city now. Like, what's popping? Like, all the social media, what's going on? Versus? What's happening? So, do y'all think we'll see a T.I. in a 50 verse? I don't. Um, to th- don't think nobody want to see 50 Cent right now because of what he did earlier. What did he, he do? So, um, about Mr. Williams' death, I think this is his last name. Mr. The guy that overdosed, um, overdosed right. on the fentanyl. Right. He posted again today. Oh, yeah, making fun of how... Yeah, like, oh, he, I told y'all, leave them pills alone with the man picture and the article about the op- autopsy results and said, well, catch Raising Kane, Kane and whatever his new movie well, is. And I used to like 50 Cent. I don't think. Today, I don't like. I don't, that, is people really going to hold that against 50? We know 50 is a troll, and that's what he do. But I'm not going to hold that against him. Dead. Me not liking his music, I'm going to hold that against him. But it's, I mean, I don't. That's 50. Right? I mean, I think it's two ways to look at it. That's, I, I, that's disrespectful. I mean, if he was that hard, he would have said something about Ja Rule last week. What happened to Ja Rule? Oh, no. Nah, she's just talking about the verses. What but not, nah, but, but ain't that, ain't that, ain't that could, could say, Lil Mama? He ain't no shade. He couldn't. Could, could rock that. Could, could rock that. I know they don't post pizza size of celebration club, but Ja Rule shut it down, man. Fat Joe did his thing, but, but Ja Rule came out. Nah, you feel me? Nah. Ja Rule washed Fat Joe. No, straight up. I'm talking about no, nah, for real. Like the fact, the, I mean, let's let's be real. I love them both, but boy, that boy have a job. Ja how how many it. hits do we just rock with with Fat Joe? Honestly, if it ain't the Terror Squad, I ain't rocking with it. I mean, him yeah. and him and Remy got uh, some hits. They got they got a couple of hits. As many as Ja Rule in the Santa? No, I am not not in comparison. I just asking the question. Like, you know but what I saying? do like Fat Joe new song, but. I wouldn't like I turn on Ja Rule first. Old Ja Rule at that. Cause that 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 boy that boy did his thing. He stole the show, show, man. It turned out better than what I. I did. me too. Me I ain't too. gonna. I'm be honest with y'all. I had zero interest. But it's, man, that was, but as far as I mean, Ti and Fifty Cent, who y'all think? I don't think I don't think it's gonna happen because I don't think it's gonna happen. Number, number one, one fifty but. is caught up in producing and you got the show, you know, moves, directing. Yeah. Um. And number two, fifty, no, he'll be watched. Yeah, he know he ain't got a chance with Tip. So I think he gonna avoid that because if he get watched in a verse, it's, it's gonna take some of his credit away. He yeah. he ain't gonna be able to be the biggest troll he is now because right now New York love him. They think you know, oh man, ain't nothing greater. But he becomes the memes <laughs> exactly, <laughs> and he can't handle yeah. that. So I I don't think fifty gonna even. Attempt fit the, so he's gonna play it safe. He's gonna play it safe. Now he'll go up against someone that he know don't stand a chance. Exactly. But someone he knows that can beat him, he ain't gonna he ain't gonna touch that with a ten foot pole. He ain't gonna do it. So I don't think it's gonna happen. And yes, Tilt will watch him. And I dare anybody from the NYC to come and say anything about <laughs> Fifty Cent because Tilt will watch him. Every film in South Bay. No, straight up. That they don't really out. real talk. He ain't got nothing to do with the North. I mean, uh, New York and South. When it comes to fifty and tilt, 
The man catalog, man, speak for itself. It's, it speaks for itself. Yeah. And boy, tips on Sierra, why? Tip still King. dropping. It's still making them. Still the making kids. them, boy. I'm talking about still making them. Baby drop that song last him, little baby, him, throw all of that. Man, what? So, I mean, it, it, it ain't even no comparison. You know what I'm saying? That's hard. That's hard. That's tip, hard. All, all Tip got to do for a song, beg your pardon. And he be like, 50, what, what did you drop this year? <laughs> and yep. walk off the stage. That's and it. be done with it. I think the last one I, I heard from Fifty. I wanted to see um, Tip and Jeezy. That's what I wanted. Tip and Jeezy would have been a really. But it would have, but it, it, would, it, would, it wasn't better than that Jeezy and, and, and Goo Goo Up. That and, but that's only because they had history. Yeah, they, the yeah, history they had, really and built. And the that fact one. that they never performed their song because that's history, bro. Like they song twenty years. Imagine that having a song with somebody feature supposed to be doing press promos and you never get it. And this song is and twenty it's years song, old. And it's the, gotta, it's the song. Jeezy, I mean Gucci. Oh, uh, Jeezy. Uh, thank you, cause that's the song that put Gucci on. Yeah, straight up, straight up. That's the yeah. song that made Gucci Gucci. Straight up, man. Put him on the song, man. Dang, that was hard, boy. That was hard. That verse. was a good one. That, that was, was a really verse. good one, man. But since since we talking about verses, I want to get y'all thoughts on this. What you got? So Jermaine Dupri called out uh Diddy Puffy Diddy Combs, Combs. right? Yeah. Uh, called him out for a versus battle, and Puffy Diddy said Jermaine Dupree ain't got enough hits. Yes, to rock with Puffy Diddy. What's y'all I don't thought? think so. I, I listen. Ooh, hold on, hold on. You don't think so, BG? I have to go with Diddy on this one because you have to think about total SWV, his Jodeci bag, all of that. Okay. Hey, so hold on, hold on, okay. hold on. Okay. Just to rebuttal with that, guess what JD said to um P Diddy. He say, tell me one song, one R and B song that you have that sold over ten million. Y'all quiet just like Diddy was. Name one I'm re- name one. I'm name so one R and B song that total. Uh, what what no, what song? Cassie. Cassie then. Ten tell it's just ten million. Cassie ten no, million. No, but I can think of, of a few artists from So So Del. I can think of a few artists from So So Duh that then that Joe probably sold had, to me. Yeah. Oh yeah, for Mar- sure, for sure. Mar- Mariah Carey, for sure, for sure. Easily Mary over ten million. That's... Mary J. Blige had her running like. But, mm. but mm. Uh, okay, follow me here. Mm. Follow me here. Jermaine Dupri, he had. Uh, Let's just talk about So So Duh family. So So Duh, he had Mariah Carey. Mm-hmm. Bow Wow, mm-hmm. Bow Weezy, say what you want yeah. to. He had some hits and so Bow Wow had a lot stupid. of stupid. What he had some hits, Criss Cross, the Brat, the Brat. I I know I'm finna miss a bunch of them. Um, yeah, I don't know why. So so deaf, so so deaf, so so. Uh, Jagged, he he did some work with Jagged yeah. Edge. He did some work with Ludacris. Yeah. Um, he had a song yeah. with Nelly. Yeah, that's a hit. Welcome to the A classic. It, right. Um, in the I can't I can't name them all, y'all. I ain't gonna even try no more. Yeah. But Jermaine Dupree, I think hands he down. He had Jim Jones too. I didn't know that. He is gonna wash your Anthony butt. Hamilton, Bone Crusher, the franchise boys. Yeah, so they had a franchise boys. I remember that. Yeah. Uh so guess what P Diddy rebuttal was? I don't know. That may be a good one, actually. Guess what? Guess what? P did Jermaine Dupree to come up out of his back. He had Ghost Town DJs. So that'll be a good one. So Cuz can answer the question, right? He he came back. He say, "Yeah, you might got more records, but who got more money?" See, <laughs> see, that's a punk move. That's a punk move, man. He uh, don't. He don't. Once again, uh, once again, that's uh, somebody else who don't want to challenge no <laughs> one yeah. who can match him because once you get past. With Diddy, once you get past Biggie, you get past Mace, you get past Craig Mack, everything else you can kind of get into so so land. You'd be like, yeah, well, yeah. maybe. Because then you start is. thinking about the band, you know. Then I mean, really, you gonna put Danny the Kane up against somebody? <laughs> you know, up against who? Mariah Carey. Okay, oh, that's a watch. Right. Um. They now, don't don't they don't get me wrong. Anything he plays with Biggie. It's gonna win, oh, yeah. hands down. Yeah. Jermaine Dupri might as well throw a throwaway song now. Yeah. Throw throw something from somebody. But see, throw that, something off the B track of Chris Cross this, album. This, this way it hurt him though, because it's twenty songs. He ain't got twenty hits with Biggie. Right. You know what I'm saying? He ain't got twenty hits right. with Biggie. 
but big is quantity, man. But yeah, it, it's it's I mean, it's, sorry, it's quality. quality. It's quality, but it's hard when you you got to come up with twenty. Hits. That's the whole point of verses. Twenty because it goes to quantity. You got to have quality, but it goes to quantity. How many do you have? How many do you have? Do you every song? It's, it's, qu- it's quality and quantity. So with the quality that you, with the quantity that we have is each numbered quality. Like is we getting quality out of each quantity? You did right. If they conjured up a verses with Keisha Cole and Ashanti. I'm sure. Even though they win, not together though. I'm sure. Ashanti, Ashanti will oh. watch Kisco. They did that. They already had one. Oh, they did. It was each other, didn't it? They did it. I didn't watch it, and I love Keisha Cole. I'm sure Ashanti won. Those two can come up with two in the hits. I'm sure Jermaine, Jermaine Dupree, and um. Sean Love, Puff Daddy, whoever he is now. What's his new name? Love, 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 Sean love, Love. love. Did, he, did he, what's his name? No, Daddy Combs. Daddy Combs, P. Diddy, Diddy, Diddy Combs. Combs. Diddy, Diddy Combs. Combs. That boy been called Puff Daddy, P. <laughs> Diddy. Daddy Love. love. Okay. <laughs> and he changed them all. Like, he's so arrogant. Um, but I must say this would be one of the greatest versus battle though because the nostalgia alone it's gonna take yeah, us there man. like our generation yeah. this is gonna take us yeah, there because so so Delf man had some bangers yeah, when we was man. coming up they did. yes they did they Even had some Nas. bangers I'm thinking about that Nas song with him and Monica and Lil Bow Wow the um. Mom, Big Mama's house, soundtrack. Big Mama's house, soundtrack. Like, yeah, you have to all of that. Wasn't that, that would be a good wasn't one. Janet signing so so deaf for a minute? Mm. I don't. I know, they they married, cause, I, know. I know she married, cause I know she married, cause but I don't know if they did some work. I think they. I think they, they was in the studio for show, for show. You know, you got it. That's a given. But uh, oh, we forgetting about uh, what's the girl group? Tiny now. Oh, escape. Escape. Yep. Yep. Yep, that's right. Oh, that's yeah. right too. See it two minutes. That one he said, "Aren't man?" That's hard. That's hard. And that's what I was thinking. I was like, "Yeah, did it? You popped it. That was a good one, my boy." But verses ain't about money. <laughs> Not at all. Verses ain't about money, my boy. Not at all. You can you can get up there broke. You got twenty hits. You winning that thing. Now I would love to see. I would love to see verses get into the money bag and start rewarding like winners and losers. And not because okay, we're coming on the other side of the pandemic, so we got to go out of just just entertainment and really make it worthwhile. So start rewarding the winners and the losers. Start making it a thing. You know what I'm saying? Versus has the chance to grow into something huge, so they got to fi- figure out ways to keep it relevant, keep it going. You know they do get paid though, don't you? for the verses. Yeah, but do both artists get paid the same thing? Yeah. But no, reward a winner. So you're saying first place, second place. But see, that's the right. that's, the, that's what they are not trying to do because they that's what they don't they, want, they don't want, want that. They don't want that. They, they don't want that type of energy. The they want the type of energy because you already know that energy that we share in hip hop as a whole, and not like no other kind of genre. They want it to be a celebration, not a competition. Best versus go. Best go. I, I mean, I, mine from why? where I'm from, Gucci and uh, why? Why Gucci? Because of the energy. Jizzy, because of the energy that it gave off. No other verses except for the uh what's what's what's, what's the dudes out of New York? The, uh, uh, Dip, 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 but, they 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 had a little energy about them, but no other one really but, had broke that but, energy. But but my boy, we were still piped up. Like now I get what you're saying, but however we still had the same type of energy when we heard it's gonna be snow and tip. It was still it's still them head honchos. Like from the south, my boy. I don't care who yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. If, if, but if, no, and when you think about it, people talked about Gucci and Jeezy the longest. Like we got tired of talking about. It. Right, I know we covered it for a good two that episodes. That was energy. No, that, it was hard though. But man. and but it's because it it was it was a rivalry. It was something to lose by losing, and both of them felt it. You knew it on that stage, you could feel it. It was something to in lose the, in the building by losing to this man. Well, the the rest of them, it ain't, yeah. it ain't, it ain't no energy behind it. It ain't, they ain't got nothing to lose. It's just I'm finna go out here. Think of Monica and, and Brandy. It was boring to me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Cause, cause yeah. Brandy up there trying to be all lovey dovey. Yeah, we just friends up here playing songs. That ain't what I want to see. I want to mm-hmm. see some trash talk. Talk dirty to him. See, that's why Joe. That's why you. Said, you said, hey, brought, that's why you missed out on that Joe in that Jaru. You. That's why I be saying don't underestimate, cause you. That exactly what you asking for, my boy, is what you would have got on something that you just said you weren't interested in. I promise you, he would have got that that night when the BG. If you'd watched the uh, Jaru and Fat Joe, 
Cause I do, yeah. you know, numbers don't lie. That was they crazy. broke the record, cause. Word. Yeah, they, they broke the record. Energy. They broke the record. Cause, cause Fat Joe had folks mad, and he was doing all. Bro, that boy, they talk so, but he it was so. Winning at all. Cause it was so but funny. He, I'm glad he came back and apologized right for so to our black queen. Oh yeah, I saw that. Bad, I, I bro, you had, that. To, you had to you had to see the show to get the like, bro. It was so, bro. It was hilarious, was bro. Funny, it was what? That Vita, was funny. Vita was offended. They what? She said that boy. He said, called him. He, he called him like crackhead and hoes, right? Something said, like that. Yeah. And he said you gonna have to go to crack house for them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, it was no, but but I mean, I really they was I, trash talking. I, yeah, I would. I I wish it wouldn't have been them. But I love the energy of just talking smack like but back in once upon a time, y'all. Y'all remember when hip hop was beef? Y'all remember them? No, nah, it was yeah. Used to come mm -hmm. out. Um, now it's like life too short and boop, boop, oh yeah, oh yeah. Style. This is, oh, oh yeah, it's it's all love. It's all smack. Y'all want to know when the greatest beef track is? It's so underrated as a beef record, man. Stomp, yeah. Young Buck. Oh, well, I thought that boy talking about Kurt. <laughs> <laughs> bro it's so underrated man like nobody gives it love because of course everybody want to go to uh no vaseline and what's the uh tupac one um uh uh this track uh, i know exactly what you're talking oh, about hit him up. up you know what i'm saying oh okay i i, I do i put hit him up as my number one this track of all time but stomp is so underrated as a diss track them boys went at it, and the I, fact I gotta, I gotta go back and listen to it. But people so sensitive now, like yeah, different people times. so sensitive. They come up with think pieces. That's what rap was. They used to battle. Yeah, right. That's where it came. Um, That's where it stemmed from. Used to have straight all straight DVDs. Right. Beef one beef. I I remember them. Times and times. And just like and just like Joe was saying, like with the fat Joe uh, in the Jaru, he was saying, bro. My brother, I love you. My brother, I love you. But hey, on Tuesday, and it's just like sports. You can be blood brothers, and you play on the opposite team. I love you. Y'all gonna be enemies. But we'll come Tuesday night, say whatever. Come that night, we not friends, but or none of that. We going at each other neck. But the next day when we wake up, we at the family table together. You know what I'm saying? He had a lot of confidence to have nowhere near as many songs as Jaru. Yeah, Joe was but, on his but see, that's the thing. That's, see, but, that's what see, I'm but that's, about, that's not because I bet you in New York, Fat Joe by talking. had yeah had number of supporters up there. Like it's all regional, but like Ja Rule, we had this conversation two episodes ago, or maybe it was the last episode. Mm -hmm. But we had this conversation where we said you got to cross over. You got to make that cross. If you don't make that cross. You're not gonna earn as much money as you potentially can earn. Mm -hmm. Though Fat Joe did cross, he he, he definitely crossed. Not like Ja Rule did. Ja Rule mm -hmm. was you didn't, didn't even know what category to put him in. Was mm -hmm. it hip hop? Was it pop? No. Was it R and B? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and so therefore, that's more radio stations willing to play his music. Mm -hmm. And so, I wonder what happened to him. He was on his stuff. Fifty Cent is what happened to Ja Rule. He came in and he killed the man. He literally killed his career and started doing exactly what he was doing. He came came in talking about, you know, uh uh singing on songs and blase, blase, blase. And what did 50 Cent do when he started dropping music? Same thing. Many men. Same you thing. You what? saying that's what people do because could y'all imagine them in the um verses? Who you think would have won? Who, 50 Cent Jaru? Mm-hmm. Jaru. Uh, I'm gonna say 50, and actually. You know how what people do when they're intimidated by your success, they tear you down. Mm -hmm. And if you're weak, uh, but then a lot of these boys, a lot, that, a lot of, get to you. a lot of boys think they he can. He was intimidated. He knew Jaru was better. A lot of, what was he? Uh, exactly. I'm gonna say a lot of boys feel like down. they can talk their way out of it. You know what I'm saying? Talk they can up. talk and pop it. You know what I'm saying, BG? Like they can pop their way out of it. Like, blah, 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 blah. man, man, hit play DJ. And it happened. <laughs> hit play DJ. <laughs> <laughs> it can happen when, you, and then Jaru probably sent back things like, "I was better than this man, and I let him get under my skin." But, but and it, it happens though. As, but right. he showed. But listen though, he did the best thing though. He didn't respond. He, he popped this stuff, blah, 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 blah. But he's like, I'm going to show you better than I can tell you. Joe was trying to tell Cuz, and we seen that. If you go back and say, watch it, Cuz told us, but then show us. But you man, feel me? think think of how many great versus battles we'll never get. We'll never get Pac and Biggie. 
will never get Cube and Easy E. You know what I think of all the yeah. good versus battles, man, that we'll never see that we Who had the chance. Prince Drake? and Michael Jackson. Huh? They actually did see that. Who y'all think he's going against Drake? Going against Drake? Mm hmm. Oh, they were talking about that, man. They were saying um, Drake and Kanye. Uh, Kanye watched Drake, man. They were saying Drake and Kanye. They, see, was like, but, they see, say but, the talks was Diddy and JD. After after Ja Rule and, and the prices went up, the price is not – yesterday's prices is not the, the day's prices. They were talking about Drake and Kanye, and they was also talking about JD and P. Diddy. So. See, but the problem with Drake and Kanye is it's going to be generational because our generation is going to – of course, go with that'll Kanye. A, that'll be a crazy audience. Campaign popping. Yeah, because it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna resonate. Kanye is gonna resonate more to us than Drake will. I know way more Kanye songs than I know Drake songs. because uh, Cuz came in at a because because Cuz when Drake came in, I appear, everybody was like when when Drake hit bid it was around two thousand nine. Exactly, but you got to think a lot of a lot of our peers is probably just got out of high school or probably just still in high school. Kanye dropped big when I was in high school. See what I'm saying? For a lot of people though, that's why I say Drake kind of hit at an important part because you listen when you go to school, right? You got a class. So for your class, you got your freshmen, you got your seniors. Okay, so this just this might have happened like this. You ninth grade. And you messing with Kanye heavy, don't know of a Drake. Mm-hmm. By the time you get to 12th grade, you know about Drake. But you got to think about everybody else within that class that just came in on Drake and not Kanye. But that's what I'm saying, though. That's where it's going to be split and generational. Me, personally, I think Kanye will watch Drake. But that's just me talking. You know what I'm saying? If, if you ask somebody 10 years younger than me, they're going to be like, oh, man, Kanye don't stand a chance see, against it's Drake. not even that, because it's not even that. It's about these recent hits, too. My boy just dropped an album. Both of them did. Exactly. They did. However, who got the most? Let's talk right now. What Y'all did, know what, who what I think like? can't be touched? I don't think Missy can be touched. Missy is a good one. Missy had to go against somebody. I, don't, I, I, like I, I, I can't see nobody going against her. I can't. Now, a video battle her and Busta Rhymes. They have great videos. No. Dr. But Dre. As far as music catalog. Dr. Dre. Scott, what's Ooh. Scott Scorch? Scorch. S- Scott Storch. Stor- I can never say his name right. Scott Storch. Doubt the Dre, Scott Storch, or uh, I had a third one. Timberland. You know, oh. you know they went though. Timberland and Missy. No, nah, Timberland and Swiss Beats. Oh, hi, my hi. The way they yeah, they actually, started. They started. You mm-hmm. waving at the folk that started. <laughs> I'm about to start the whole thing. I'm about to start Swiss. I'm about to touch Missy at all. Hey, man, before we change subjects, though, man, we're going to give the people what we gave them before, man. Remember last time we did a live, lit, and legit live versus uh, watch party? So if, if four of these people, I promise y'all got another one. If Drake go against Kanye, or Jerry and the, uh, JD go party. against PD, uh, P Diddy. We gotta we gotta have that watch party, y'all. Most definitely, most definitely. I agree. Yeah. I wholeheartedly me? agree. You feel me? Um, it's a must. Uh, but since since we're talking about legendary artists, and you know artists that's had an impact in our life, we gotta talk about our girl Kelly Price. Man. Oh man, was cool. word was dropped today that uh, Kelly Price is apparently missing. Um, she hasn't been um seen. She, seen. <clears throat> no one has seen her in a while. When this dates back to August, in a month, and no one has heard from her. Um, she probably just going get a little mental break. Now, well, no. the story Mm-mm. gets deep. The, oh, it's the, oh, the uh, story gets listen, definitely guys. gets deep. And B- BG, you sitting know with your devices, so you can correct me if I'm wrong. But I know she was uh admitted in the hospital with COVID. Uh, she had like a three week battle in the hospital with COVID. All of a sudden, that was her, in July. Her children was notified that she had been released, though she wasn't Without well, being, uh, and she was still positive. That's yeah, right. And um, so the Cobb County uh, Sheriff's Department went to serve a uh, welfare check because her family hasn't heard from her. They went to go serve a welfare check. Her boyfriend was at her house, and she he, wasn't. He was like he ain't heard from her. She wasn't there. And so now her boy, or her boyfriend is definitely a person of interest in her disappearance. And they say he is not cooperating. And so no one has heard from him. 
the legendary. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait, wait. Check her account. Wait, wait, wait. How did we? I'm so, I'm so lost. Yeah, I mean, but we, it blew me too. It blew me. I'm too. saying, how did we go from admitted to the hospital from COVID to being released earlier positive? To welfare check to the police came to the house and, and the boyfriend. Oh, I'm so what? Because it, it's okay. What's she the was, correlation? In the she was admitted into the hospital, right? Uh-huh. Her family knew she was in the hospital. They they had talked to her. The kids said went and visit visited her parents and stuff. You know, all that good stuff happened. Mm-hmm. And then after about three weeks, um, the was it the hospital call? Correct me if I'm wrong. Was the hospital yeah. called and said that but she the had? But the thing about it, this was in July. Yeah. It's September. It's October. So right. keep going, keep going. And said that she had discharged, but she wasn't well. She wasn't healed when she discharged. Wait, 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 wait. The hospital let her go, discharged. Dis- well, you and know, she was discharged. the hospital she, can't she can't discharged. hold you. So if you get admitted into the hospital with a gunshot wound in the back and they're like, we need to keep you and do surgery. If you say, no, I'm going home. They ain't got no choice. That's what, I'm, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I didn't know. Once again, did the hospital say it's one? I mean, a discharge is a discharge. Right. How did she get discharged? Was it all that? I don't know. So, yeah. Maybe BG can help us with that. How um, how did she get discharged? That, actually, hold on. I'm going to tell you um, what actually happened with that. She was, she discharged herself. Okay. Let them tell it. Okay, so she, she discharged, discharged herself. herself. Okay, now keep going. All right. And her family wanted to know why. Because she wasn't well, and they said that wasn't. Uh, like her. Okay, so she went to him and said, yeah, let me out of here. Right. All right, go ahead. She hasn't been heard from since. So that's no, why I said. That why... Have, and she was talking to her family daily. That's why I said a mental break. Because she told folk, I want to go. I mean, let me go. I'm saying, did LaMama get in the car and, and drive? Did somebody come pick her up? What well, they, they well no one's saying that, you know, it is foul play. Because the police, when they did the welfare check, did say that there was no evidence of foul play. But it's just like. How the welfare check come in? Well, but a welfare check a is phone, when no if ain't nobody talked to you, if ain't nobody heard from you, I normally communicate with you at least once a week, at least once a week, if not three, four times a week, right? Mm-hmm. So if I haven't heard from you, I've called you multiple times, I'm not getting an answer. I call your mother. She calls you a million times. She ain't getting no answer. We can call the police and say, hey, do a welfare check. And they'll go yeah. to the apartment and they'll try to check on you. It's been a month and hey man, a I'm half. I'm so glad I do this show here because I be learning. I'm think this is Kelly Price we talking about. La Mama rich, rich. I'm thinking they finna deliver her a welfare That's check. That's why I said check her bank account. <laughs> no, because do a welfare check. I feel check like why they coming to the house to make sure welfare? you're breathing. Oh, yes. Somebody can get a welfare check, Mimi. That right. why, I'm trying to figure I'm out why Kelly Price didn't want it. That's why I got my <laughs> <laughs> No, why, why no, why man. I can call. I I I, I can call your apartment complex to do a welfare check on you. Oh, okay. They'll send man. I've done a million welfare checks. They'll send maintenance to your apartment to do a welfare oh, okay. check. Okay, welfare right? check on your well being. Right. And then she's a mother of what three, and they're saying that's not like them to not hear from their mom. It's been an entire month. But <laughs> I think about that is it's going back to now they're arguing arguing online. Why does it take so long for black people to hit the media when they are missing? If these children are saying they haven't heard from their mother. Or her parents, it sh- they should have been requested a welfare. Team. I'm not. I'm they not buying been that. Put it out there. I'm not. I'm not buying that. No, because she is a celebrity. They probably want to keep stuff private. I'm not. I'm not buying that. That oh, because she's yeah. black or she's a black woman, they didn't put it out there. No, that's not it. She's a celebrity. They probably want to keep that stuff private until they figured out what was really going on. Until it's a time to really let the world know. They wanted to keep that private. That's not true. That's not. I'm not buying that. Well, was there? I see. I get Amber Alerts all the time from black children. I'm tired of I black guess, people I, doing that. Everything that, is not know, racist. I guess. The, I guess the main question is: Is was there any priors? Anything linking up to this? You know what I'm saying? Anything that? Remember, she had COVID. But and, I know. mean, COVID ain't no reason for you to go miss unless you don't want. I mean. I don't, I don't know, it's man. A, this is crazy. It's so, not a reason. Huh? It's not a reason to go. If anything, you won't be staying at the house and get, at the hospital and get well, right? Right. I think I think the only person that would know anything would be her boyfriend. And so that's why everybody's pointing. I'm not pointing fingers at him because I don't know. But I am. He is the, I know when you're with someone, when you're in a relationship with somebody, 
if they parents ain't talked to him, you've talked to him. You know what I'm saying? Like, so he's gonna Cole, be the number that, one person, especially to, Cole Lil. Well, you at, look, Cole Lil. You at the house. Yeah, Cole Lil. Lil. Cole Lil. Lil with the mama on it. You at the oh, house? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You know, air move. Just you, like of this, all uh, like a person of This all uh, story with the uh, white girl that just they just found dead, and her 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 boyfriend drove back to Florida in her car, and they were on the trip together. I seen that. And it's like, hey, I mean, My, point if I the come finger back without you. My family gonna kill you. It just don't look right. Right, it looks bad. I'm on. The, I'm on. Think about it. Let's go on a trip with somebody, but her boyfriend come back without her. What's the first? No, no, nah, nah, this, no, nah, this, this the part that look bad when you ain't got no explanation. That's the part that's that look hard. Thing. That's the part. Where's that look the explanation in all of this? That's the big part. That's just like you saying you come back to a trip. I, you you something, no I don't know. I don't know. No, I don't you, know. How, how you gonna come back to my own? No. When y'all went together, got the tickets together, the rooms together, the, the side by side together. I don't know where she at. How? But the thing about her, I can't think of her name right now. The thing about her was. She they was pulled over by the police and she was crying. But no, cut. but she, but but see that? but but she was the aggressor in that incident. She he had scratches all over him and everything. Cause I just thought about something though. Tell me he had to kill him. I th- no hold up. I, I didn't say hold up. That's hold up. What I said. I, 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 I take that back. I take that back. You do gotta think about something. Was she the As aggressor? Of fact, or make, was she make this make sense. Hold up, bitch. Hold up. Was it Remember we said that don't make sense. No explanation. I don't know. I don't know. Right. But then I thought about something. We go to a country, some type of country, right? And we at the bar chilling. Well, I say, hey, I'm going to go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. What if that person never comes back? Then you actually really don't know what the fuck. I mean, what the You're mind. not going to be See, driving their car back home without them. With no no questions, no answers of their whereabouts. No, you gonna you, you going there's gonna be police reports oh, no, okay, filed. Of course, it's gonna be no, no, all no, no, kind no, of no, stuff. No, 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 no. Of course, but that's what I'm saying. That's the that's the thin line between you just saying I don't know versus you saying, Hey, man, could say he was just going to the bathroom and I was waiting for him to get back. And then versus just blatantly saying, I don't know, I don't know. Like, right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like if things can happen, it's not what you say; it's how you say it. It's how you say, you say it. Exactly. Like you gonna have. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, BJ. Let me pick it back. B was saying she was the aggressor. What if it was self defense? We don't know what was going on in that. Bank. We don't know, and I'm not finna sit up here and and point either way because I have no idea. But I do know that this Allegedly. girl turned up dead, and Ooh, he drove her car back to is. Florida. Oh, it's my cousin though. I feel and but y'all, without her. y'all know how crazy that is. Like us. What if that was us? The family that saw the van was just filming their regular old Saturday. YouTube video, and they was like, "Hey, we saw that van in our YouTube video. And we were driving through the woods. What's the odds of that?" Right. They turned in that footage, and they went back to that place in the woods. That's where they found her body. I'm be honest with you, we would have went viral first. We would have posted it first. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not laughing. Should have went to the authorities. Okay, I'm done. I'm, I'm done joking. I'm done joking. No more jokes. No more jokes. I don't even know what the fuck is happening. I, I hate it. I really <laughs> hate that it happened. Um, I really do. Uh, uh, I feel bad. See, I want to cut this whole thing out now. I the- <laughs> but uh, I, hate, I I don't remember her name either, and I've been seeing it trending all week. But I hate hey, that I, she I died. I've been doing it all week. Was it Gabby? It was. Was it Gabby? I know his his last name. What was his last name? Brian. He missing now too, ain't it? Yeah, yeah, he is. As he should. Um, he's just on the run. I think somebody had a picture of him in Canada today. They think they saw him in Canada. Um, that's expensive. On the run. Yo, that's, yeah, it's getting expensive. But uh, I I but hate that for the her. Odds but. Of you? Killing some, well, trying to kill somebody, and somebody randomly got your car on their YouTube. Because, video. because in today's I mean, society, no, no, not, not, not even today's society. In the world, in the in the in the creation of the world, the history of the world, that's saying, hey, there's always somebody watching. That's all. all somebody mean, gonna see. Hey, you feel some, me? Some, something I have learned. There's always a camera. 
there's always Bruh, you can be in a back alley. Bruh. There is a camera. And if it ain't you. and if it ain't a surveillance camera, it's a human being. It's a eyes. cell phone. Oh, oh no, it's a it's a you got eyewitness. Before it was a surveillance, you had eyewitness. Right. You feel me? There's so always so a that's camera. that's why that's why you saying what's the odds, BG? It's it's really not the odds, you know what I'm saying? Because when stuff like that happen, bro, it'll be you can look left and right. Oh, coast is clear. I promise you, dog. If it's gonna start from an eyewitness to a cell phone camera to a, a subvert a, a surveillance camera, like you know what I'm saying? Especially in 2021. I agree. You know what I'm saying? I agree wholeheartedly. With they that, got man. they got cameras in, in on leaves. Right. You feel me? Like cut like, coming with the CIA and how do you man? Twenty man. So yeah. I'm seeing now y'all breaking news. That's why I'm turned away. They are saying Kelly Price is safe. Hey, come in first. But we hope so. Hey, coming in here first on live in the gym. Hey, y'all, uh, real talk. We 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 film on Fridays, like so. This is hit our phone. Right before we started recording, we started talking about it. So we're literally getting this as it drops. So. The news just came in, guys, live here, live, lit, and legit Friday so, night, uh, 9.58 Central Time. It might, allegedly, we're hearing that Kelly Price may be safe. I hope and I pray. They said her rep says she's safe and recovering from COVID after declared missing. That was her, that was her rep. So see, that's that what I be saying. Who's to say the mama just didn't want to go do her own quarantine? These but why you ain't? <laughs> she felt crazy. I hope and I pray that that's the truth, man. I really do. I want to see her go live. Now you gotta go live. <laughs> try, try to get on the show, BG. Oh, <laughs> you know you be hitting them up. <laughs> what's say? What's say? Done. Done. Oh man, that was good talk though, man. Real talk, man. That was good talk. Uh, before we get up out of here. I want to hit this video. Y'all check this out. Right, guys so that's the peter video highly highly sexual what's y'all thoughts Go for it, why would they even think that's okay right i know is an aphrodisiac but they're the main ones that's hounding everybody about what they do and here you are groping fruit grow hey i'm not gonna lie i clutched my pearls watching it i was like oh my god is, is yeah. this what peter's rapping right now uh, look at that! You see that? What what was the point of it? I see no purpose in that video. <laughs> they're 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 trying to rep for fruit, which is weird because they're trying to use the sets tie in with fruit, but no one has ever tied sets to meat. I've never said chicken is a natural aphrodisiac. You know what I'm saying? Who like who me? who 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 makes that tie in? Well, BG said it works for her, but bring me some chicken or steak. I'll show you how to eat it sexy. <laughs> you can't eat <laughs> eat no steak sets. I don't care who you are. Yes, you can. You ain't eating steak sets at all. Medium rare, dipping in the sauce. You be like. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. That, I got off the rails that, this episode. That is so explicit, like. Think of your child watching that, even though it's fruit. Right. And I, I can't explain it. I don't know what to say. That's stupid. Like somebody come in it today will tweet it or say vegans are just weird. And that's it. I ain't gonna say vegans. vegans. Are weird. I ain't gonna say not all vegans. Some vegans. They, they are. A lot of vegans they, are, but not all. They are weird because you don't eat meat, but you want to buy a flower that tastes like an oxtail <laughs> well then that's what i get mad about if you choose not that's to eat stupid. meat that's your business but don't try to flip your vegetables into things that taste like meat and say it's meat buffalo cauliflower i would i would kill some i would flip a table over i wish buffalo down. wild wings would bring me some buffalo <laughs> cauliflower i'm jumping over the bar i ain't got time buffalo cauliflower. We'll flip the whole table. Hard, 
okay, two cup, you kind of um discombobulated there. I don't know what I just watched because I don't know what's going on. It threw me too. Look at that. Just think about your child up. I didn't know. I didn't know what these folks trying to do. American Pie remake. That's the first thing when I came when I thought sex and food. You seen what it did with in America Pie? But you see, that was a movie. But but this, this I didn't know, it, baby. Everything is a movie nowadays. When he folks trying to go viral, I didn't know what. Like, huh, when when the day you ever thought you'll see a, you can hit a, a orange from the back. Like what? <laughs> hit an orange from the back because that's what they do. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Who had that hit an orange the, from the, the back? If what was that? The kiwi. <laughs> that was all up in the kiwi, like the grapefruit. They were all up in the grapefruit. Insinuating. I guess they said, hey. They, everybody can talk about anything else. We can do this video. You never know what you're going to get here on Live Living Legit, man. You never know. This is crazy. Groping of the fruit. Hey, Amen. Put your <laughs> finger on what's not working. And speaking of, somebody said something that made a lot of sense before we go. Speaking of vegans and eating meat, they was like, people just don't realize that they're depressed and be sad and moping around. Because we eat dead flesh. What y'all feel about that? They've been eating dead flesh since the Bible days. I don't know. I know dead flesh pipe you up. Them hey, proteins. Dead chicken is good. You dig. Dead steak. When you're feeling down. I it. <laughs> dead pig. Eat dead pumped up flesh. I guess that's what it is. Pork chops. This video is so disturbing. I'll pick you up when you're down. I say ch- chicken. Them wine. Hold up! Shout out to the fruits, bet them a chicken, bet them chicken breasts. <laughs> I said, are, go ahead, BG. Saying, we y'all sorry. have to watch that. <laughs> they are saying, I'm sorry, y'all. You know, people love to hear y'all sing, but they are saying, you know, we are what we eat. Yep, yep. And people will enjoy, basically enjoy oral better if their diet was better. I get it. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. But that's hey. too much. I'm just saying, hey. look, this is how I feel, well, and I'm going to die on this hill, oh. literally. My great-grandparents ate meat. Mm-hmm. Grandparents ate meat. Mm-hmm. My mama ate meat. Mm-hmm. I'm going to eat meat. Sure you eat meat. Pause. Time, I'm but I'm going to eat Pause. meat. So, Pause. So, so, <laughs> so with that being said, you are what you eat. And we are what you see here on Live Living Joy. Hey, I like how you did that. Hey, man. always your boy Two Cups, Shouty Man, Q Smith, yourself and your boy. Oh, is this your boy? Babe. It came for the get all about that girl. Who? BG. BG, where they can find you at? Where they can follow you, girl? Uh, Facebook. Belle Janice. Okay, my girl. Um, actually, Facebook Live Lit and Legit. You did. Word. And on Twitter, Bell underscore Janice. You right. did. And on Instagram, Live Lit Legit Co. You right. did. You did. You did. Well, definitely. B. Hey, man. Follow your boy on Twitter at that B Dub guy. I say, say it one more time, real fast. At that B Dub guy. <laughs> I ain't even saying it. Yeah, real fast. I ain't get it all out. At that B Dub guy. <laughs> He want his Twitter to be peaceful. Y'all, I've been going right. viral all week. I turned off my notifications. Oh, that, that love, I noticed man. that. That's love. That's love, man. Hey, man, uh-uh. Two Cup Lit on Instagram. You already know the live, lit, and legit on Facebook, man. And on Twitter. Say, man. Hey, man. Another beautiful episode of Live, Lit, and Legit Family. Oh, definitely, man. That's a wrap. Man, look at man. Y'all sitting here watching these videos. So you know what? Why you just click on one of these other two or three that's sitting here waiting on y'all to click on and go and get in the next thing? Get busy. Function with your people. Lively legit. You know what it is.